And we are back guys on the Rush to Max account where today I'm really excited because I'm not on this account super often. And so I think it is going to be in a blast to do. Last time we made it to level 50 queen. So naturally today the goal is to upgrade the king to level 50 as well. Um, we don't have enough dark elixir just yet. That's what the, naturally that's what the raids are for, right? Uh, so, but first let me collect my treasury. This is going to give me an idea of where we're at. Oh boy. Okay. So to upgrade the king to level 50, we need 125,000 dark elixir. And I literally have 101, which means we have to take out like 12,000 dark elixir in each raid in order to actually upgrade the king today. This is going to be nuts. Yeah, I don't know. Let's hope that this goes pretty well. In the meantime, don't forget to check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Plays, where I'm uploading videos occasionally about what I'm doing full-time with my time right now, building my family's cabin. And then also, I'm uploading a lot more Clash of Clans content on Facebook. Uh, we're up uploading two out of every three days, so that's a lot more often than here on YouTube right now. So, if you'd like to check that out, the link for that is also down below in the description. Okay, let's move on and try to find a base that's actually worth attacking. I was kind of hoping that I would during that little spill. Okay, this is a little bit interesting. It is a, uh, it looks like a sword, which is really a cool base design idea, you know? But it's got a load of uh, dark elixir and stuff sitting here. Now, I think, I don't know if the warden has like the firepower to get through all this, but I know he has the range, right? So if we're super patient, he might be able to take out these gold mines and then also the dark elixir drills in, in storage and get it all basically for free. It's just going to cost me some time um, and some trophies, but 17 trophies really isn't that bad. So I'll be right back um, when the warden is done or does something interesting. I have a feeling it's going to be a whole lot of the same. Oh, and he got his first shot on the dark elixir drill and he is still outside the range. Look at that. You can see that glowing aura like three tiles in front of the warden. This is perfect, which means I'm going to be able to get all this dark elixir for free. And it was a lot. It was like 8,000 dark elixir. So that's going to put us very, very far ahead. In fact, I might try. Yeah, these cannons are going to kind of slow me down a little bit, but I might actually try to uh, to get some elixir as well because I haven't forgotten about that warden. But OK, bets on the storage. Yes. Yes, look at that. We got this storage and everything. I'm feeling good, man. This was a really good base to find. This guy is going to gain a lot of trophies if he keeps this up. I'm just saying. And the last of the Dark Elixir goes down. And is he going to get shot? Oh, he is getting shot. Okay, let's get him out of there. I don't want to lose a lot of hit points. That is 8,000 Dark Elixir and 348,000 gold that I got basically for free. All I had to do is exchange a few trophies, which I don't really care about on this account. So let's go do it again. This time, my uh, my standards are a little bit lower. Um, let's see, I've got about seven, 8,000 per base that I have to get now. I just wanna make sure it's a base that I can actually still take on. By the way, guys, thank you so much for your patience. I know that lately there hasn't been a lot of content here on YouTube. You guys have been super patient. Viewership is still pretty much the same per new video. You guys haven't dropped off the face of the planet. You guys haven't given up on me, so I really appreciate it. Uh, things will be back in probably the month of November. Um, things are going to make a big return. So mo November or December for sure. December for sure. Uh, we'll be back in full force with hopefully daily uploads. I mean, that's always the goal, right? So, okay. I have found a base with 8,000 dark elixir. I'm pretty confident none of that is in the storage or very little of it is. So let's come in from this, uh, far side. I've got a stone slammer and a warden and let's just spin. Um, haste spam. I almost said paste, paste Sam, paste ham, paste ham. That's almost what I said. That's not the, quite the same thing. It's close, but not quite. Okay, Quake on the town hall. Where's my warden? Oh, he's way over there. He's not even going to help. No, nope. dang it. Wow. Okay, well, let's get the royal champion. I'm going to get the king on the enemy royal champion. And I'll put the queen over there too. I mean, why not? Unless, uh, no. Yeah, we're going to put her over there too. Let's pop the royal champion's ability. We're going to take out a few of those their defenses and i think this is going to be one of them easy three stars um no problem whatsoever the only issue is that enemy queen but watch this she is about to draw a whole bunch of angry minions not raged not raged but it's fine and actually it was the, wow it was actually the royal champion that got that done well done rc you're amazing so there you go 
with that laboratory and the queen getting the final shot because of course she would she also gets the final say because she's the queen uh we are now in a really really good position check this out i didn't think it was doable today actually but finding that like halfway dead base kind of changed everything for me so it, as you can see guys now i'm at 118,000 dark elixir needs 7,000 more and we'll be in good shape so you know what i did request for a clan castle but I, all i'm missing really is a rage spell i have a stone slammer of my own so i'm just gonna go out and do another one so let's see what we can find next one more thing okay uh something else i wanted to mention in today's video i wanted to thank all of you thank you from the bottom of my heart for using code klaus uh there's been a huge surge of people using code class whenever you guys are buying stuff in the game and you guys know this by now but in case anybody else doesn't know when you do that uh i get a small percentage of that purchase that you make and it's kind of like a tip for the content or a thank you or a, hey keep it up or whatever and it's really really helpful you guys have no idea how big of a blessing it is for me and my family so thank you from the bottom of my heart to those of you who have been using code klaus and if you are one of those amazing people let us all know down below in the comments hey this one's got lots of dark elixir and it's not a dead base it's actually got an upgrading inferno tower i mean how cool is that right we don't see that super often on this account so uh we've got three drills one of them out here one of them out here and then one of them near the dark elixir storage down here so the natural discussion here is where to start and i think down by the storage and the other drill is perfect so balloons get in there buddies uh minions get in there i'm also going to drop a rage spell over the minions for the raged angry minion effect let's drop some haste i'm going to poison over this eagle artillery i'm also going to drop a not eagle artillery the e the e-drag i do that i have been doing that calling the e-drag an eagle artillery forever for years i don't understand it i mean i guess it's just because they both start with e like that's all i can think of they both start with e so therefore naturally they're the same thing right it's like everybody who thinks that all people with the same name are copying each other you know because there's another klaus out there and everyone's like why'd you copy klaus well I've, I've i've actually been around longer but whatever i don't care it's it's kind of a funny comment anyway so let's drop a couple of king and queens out here uh royal champion that's going to get all the dark looks by the way king and queen uh i don't really need the royal champion i might as well put it down here and keep those balloons alive if we can so that would be fantastic there we go and actually this royal champion is going to take out the air skeleton trap so that's pretty amazing too. Well done. Well done. And uh, yep. So 67% two star. Well, we might get a couple more buildings, whatever. But I got all the dark elixir that puts us at 125,000 dark elixir, which is what we came here for and what we are going to use today. Like exactly 125,000. It's just amazing. So can't wait. Also, die inferno. Give me that free achievement. I think it's like a one to 500 ratio like you get a one 500th of a gem per five per uh per inferno at this point in the achievement i don't even know but uh, but i think about it because gems are important they're very very important okay so there you go uh now i have to double check that achievement hold on let's go i got some free stuff thank you to super soldier and rabbinanza for the cc i'm gonna go down to achievements and look at firefighter because I've got to know now, like what the deal is. Okay, so we have to take out 5,000 Inferno Towers to get a thousand gems. So my ratios were off, but my numbers were close. Okay, so if you get one fifth of a gem per Inferno that you take out, which is pretty cool. And then you just get to cash in after you've done 5,000 Infernos. We got a long way to go. Uh, so let's go into the progress base and upgrade some stuff. Of course, there is a tree. Where is that tree? That's a that's a fallen tree. It's called a trunk. We're going to take it out and then we'll be able to go to the progress base. But I think it goes without saying that the king will be the finale, right? Level 50 king is kind of a big deal in my opinion. Oh, there's still another tree? What the heck? Oh, it's the um it's the uh this thingy. Trick or treat. Haha. <laughs> cool. Okay, well I'm going to keep that and um I guess move. Yep, yeah, it's that gold mine. That gold mine needs to be put there. There you go. The new Halloween obstacle is here, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a jack-o'-lantern, which I think we've had before, haven't we? I mean, if I were to go to refer to my Town Hall 15, I've got uh, obstacles all from 2015 and up. So I've, I can actually look and refer to that, but I don't feel like doing that. Actually, I think I've got my, my account as a friend. Watch the base be completely destroyed. Oh, it isn't destroyed. Nice. 
So, um, so we have this scary pumpkin. It's a pumpkin, but it's not a jack-o'-lantern. And then we had this uh, skeleton skull thing, and then the witch's hat, and then the tree that looks like a crook, and then um, the vacant tomb. Okay, well, there you go. Then we we haven't had a jack-o'-lantern before. Oh, and of course, the cauldron, right? The cauldron was the first one I ever got. That's crazy. So we've never had a, a jack-o'-lantern before. That's crazy. Okay, so let's go into the, uh, to the progress base, and let's upgrade something. Clearly, this has to be elixir but i want to upgrade the warden if i can i can't what if i collected the treasury would that put me over i think it might have it did oh yes let's upgrade the warden i've got like no elixir left over after this but it's so worth it 9.4 million elixir level 27 warden bam nice 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 okay and then now um i've got like no elixir left like none i can afford one elixir upgrade and it is literally this level one wizard to go to level two and you know what i feel like that would be a fantastic upgrade to do today i'm doing it i'm not even gonna think too much about it it's the only one i could afford so there you go and then next we have uh gold we need to spend so let's upgrade this level four bomb to level five it's going to be upgraded along with its friends. Um, let's see, 450,000. Yep, so I need to now start doing these skeleton traps because they're 450,000 gold. Um, which defense am I supposed to do next? Is it the air sweeper? I've lost all track of what we're doing. I'm just working on traps. I'm going to keep doing that for a little while. It, it makes sense, right? We're entering the Halloween season. Halloween's in what, two weeks or something? And it makes perfect sense that I start upgrading some skeleton traps, right? I mean, it doesn't, isn't that just topical? I think it's perfect. So 450,000 gold there. I've got uh, two, let's, there you go, one more. I can spend the rest of my gold on walls. Wow, that's gonna be, how much are these? A million a piece. So I can do eight of them. Is that eight? Perfect, bam, nice. Okay, and then Dark Elixir, I'm going to upgrade here. This here king to level 50. Today's a great day, guys. Let's go. Let's do this. And now, oh man, level 50 king. 27 warden as well. We're making great progress. And how much is this royal champion? 211, still too expensive. Oh my gosh. She's amazing, but man, is she expensive. I've said that before. Guys, that's all for me for uh, today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.